take a look. Former President Bill Clinton, along with Secretary Clinton, going to vote. This will be the first time she votes for herself as President of the United States in a general mm -hmm. election. Of course, she has done it during the primaries. And both candidates have had the, their families by their sides on and off the trail this season. And since you mentioned that, George, this morning the results of a GMA exclusive poll suggest more voters believe the Trump family has been a greater asset than the Clinton family, 46 to 41 percent. But will that family support sway voters? Let's go back to ABC's Paula Ferris. She's in Miami Shores, Florida, with much more on this. Hey there, looking good there, Paula. Good morning. Hi there. Thanks, Robin. Family. Ah, we all love our families, right? Well, as we just mentioned, Trump's family is seen as more of an asset than Hillary Clinton's family. You know, families tend to humanize these candidates, but as we all know, families can bring out the best in us and the absolute worst. It's a long standing political tradition. He will make fantastic president. She's strong enough to be president. I am so fiercely, ridiculously proud of my mom. The potential first families pounding the campaign pavement for that presidential win. We get a sense of who they are uh, through their children, through their spouse. We want to get a human connection to that individual. Families give us that connection. She's the best darn change maker I ever met in my entire life. Still hugely popular in Democratic circles, President Bill Clinton has tried to capitalize on that love, staying largely on message while campaigning in states where his wife's opponent is strong. I have been aware of his love for this country since we first met. But in a rare move for political spouses, Melania Trump has been mostly absent from the trail. So it's hard to say whether she's been a positive or negative factor. She really uh, has been a neutral factor. She really hasn't taken to the stump herself. We really haven't gotten a, a direct connection to Melania Trump through any of her independent efforts. My only mission is to get him there because I know he can make a difference. Some saying the Trump children, especially Ivanka, have filled that void. The eldest Trump daughter emerging as one of her father's strongest political assets, even announcing major policy plans. We had a very comprehensive plan for how to make childcare more affordable, more accessible, create more optionality. I think Ivanka Trump has been a better surrogate and a more effective surrogate for her father than any of her siblings or Melania Trump. I think she's been poised, she's been on message. I know with all my heart that my mother will make us proud as our next president. And as an experienced campaigner, some political analysts say that Chelsea Clinton has helped to show the softer side of her mother. I think where Chelsea Clinton has broken through, it's in talking about her mom as a mom and talking about herself as a mom. It's the personal side, not the policy side, that Chelsea Clinton can vouch for her mom's candidacy. La Familia. So who would do what within the administration? Melania Trump says a potential first lady, she would champion children's causes, cyberbullying, and social media. Donald Trump, though, a lot of people really want his children to get involved, said that they probably would not serve in any capacity in the White House. As for Hillary Clinton, Bill would serve in some sort of role focusing on the economy. And Chelsea Clinton has told many friends that if her parents called upon her, she would return to the White House, keeping it all in the family, guys. All in the family. Looking good there in Miami. Thank Thank you, Paula. Our little slogan for our family is uh, family. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. Yeah. Because that's, that's, you know, that's how it is.